Do you know this song of Vibe? I can actually show you guys the Vibe song in between the break. It's a Dutch song, there should be no copyrights on it. We can rock this, right? Yeah, I'm sure we can rock it. Anyways, guys, Root Vibe is our North American Zerg spawning on the right top side of Whirlwind. And of course, man, Liquid Stage is our Red Korean Pro. Uh, the, uh, Darren. Spawning in the right bottom side of Whirlwind. As we said many times, important game. Vibe currently 4 1. Teja is 2 2 in his division. Um, I mean, before last week, man, I would have said, I would have maybe even picked Vibe because I really believe in him. Uh, of course, when a North American player plays against a Korean player, and a Korean player is in Korea, North American is in North America, they play on the North American server. Mm -hmm. That's just the policy that uh, the, the NASL has. This has been, it's always been a North American star, uh, the North American Star League. So uh, the default server is NA, unless it's two Europeans. Of course, they can play on the EU. Two Koreans, they can play on uh, on Korea. But in this case, Vibe is going to have the ping advantage. But last week, man, Vibe kind of got manhandled by Ryong. Yes, he like, did. That was surprising, as Vibe was 3-0 in the vision. Ryong was 0-3. Uh, but wow, Vibe. I mean, Vibe was uh, okay, but Ryong looked just fantastic. Yeah, and you know, it made me really question a little bit Vibe's Zerg versus Terran. He's yeah. obviously got a great grasp on his ZVZ. I think it might be the best in North America. Uh, hard to say that when he did lose in his ZVZ series to Scarlet in the WCS Finals. Twice. Uh, but it is very, very good. Yeah. Uh, his ZVP is obviously phenomenal. Even though I must say, I mean, I love the Vibe CVP as uh, CVZ as well. But every now and then, I see him throwing in some early pool, always on the right moment. Now, of course, you could some would argue so, uh, that's just gambling. Some say it's a little bit of skill as well, or at least knowing your opponents. But a few times, he definitely got on the better hand of a build order. And uh, man, Teja is being, uh, I mean, Vibe's being pretty damn effective with his drone, slowing down the command center, picking up an SCV already. Uh, so far, so good, man. Yep, and, and he's double. even. Uh, enjoys the luxury of not going to be, he's not going to be scattered for a long time. Vibe, I'm sorry, Tasia has scattered in the wrong direction, meaning Vibe's going to have three hatcheries before spawning pool. That's crazy. And it's great. It's all going to be done, I think, before Tasia even scouts it. So that is awesome news for Vibe. Really, have I seen a drone punch as much as this little drone? Man, yeah, man. his fist must be bleeding by now. It's Muhammad Ali drone. It's Rocky. Bum, 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 bum. When he, d he has one kill, it's George Foreman. He dances like a drone and he stings like a drone. <laughs> Better watch out, it's just a drone. Uh, that no? was not good, man. Not, not very funny. Uh, I mean, you had potential when you started out. He danced, I was like, man, where are you going to take this? But then you disappointed me. Well, he doesn't dance like a butterfly. He doesn't sting like a bee. Hmm. Why doesn't he sting like a bee? Because bees actually hurt? Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the that's the thing Muhammad Ali said. Yeah, I know. I watched the movie, man. It's an awesome movie. Movie and Muhammad Ali is like sort of a jackass in the movie, but he's also very, very cool and nice. <laughs> Does it make sense? No. Nah. No? You have not seen the movie, Ali? No, I have not seen the movie. Wow, really? You're yeah. missing out. Yeah, with Will Smith. Will Smith was awesome in that movie. At least I think he was awesome. Will Smith's awesome in everything he does, for starters. You you idolize Tom Cruise, <laughs> the biggest like I don't tool in Hollywood. I idolize Will Smith, one of the one of the greatest workers in the industry. Triple comments. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever you say Will Smith, I always used to think of Eminem, how Eminem used to diss him on every song. Even though when I was very young, I didn't really get what the Eminem songs were all about. But what I did get is that he was making fun of Will Smith all the time. And that kind of always made me think that Will Smith was kind of like a pushover because he never said anything bad. Will Smith's awesome, dude. Yeah, but he never said anything. He got this all the time. He didn't do anything about it. Hmm. I mean... Why does somebody have to do something if someone's talking no. smack? I don't know. I mean, if you <laughs> if someone talks smack about you, you defend yourself. Don't you? Oh, you guys talk a lot of smack to me on the set. I just kind of sit here and smile. <laughs> Let it go. That's true. But some things you just can't defend yourself. Like, man, you have no hair. And you're like, uh, yeah, uh, I'd love to talk smack, but I really have no hair. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Forgive me. See, I'm going to be the bigger man. <laughs> I'm just going to be like... It's all good, bro. Two Hellions from Liquidasia make their way across the map. Speed is kicking in for Vibe, though, Ben, so he should be fine for now. Ooh, he's oh, beautiful surrounds. Good so far, so good for That's Vibe. Excellent. And this is a, just a great timing to have a bit little swell of, uh, of Zerglings. Uh, works out very nicely for Vibe. Might even poke in here before this depot or bunker's done. Uh, Marine's taking oh! some damage, but they will get in. Even a Marauder got in, but they actually, the bunker's actually taking a lot of damage. Oh, the bunker might fall now, actually, because only two SCVs will be able to repair it. No, no. the Hellions are going to save the day, but Vibe's done some okay damage with yeah. this. Killed five SCVs. And I don't know if 
it was worth that many lings. I don't know if you caught the end there, Ben, but Teja called down uh, three mules at once down at this nature. Now I kind of wonder if that triggers a reaction and vibe. It's like, hey, this might be trip orbital already. He did not scout it, but he might be able to draw that conclusion. Because it's very unlikely that a Terran player like Teja is saving up one of the energy in this phase of the game. Now one thing that saddens me a little bit is that because Vibe completely committed his lings to that attack, he's got nothing left over. He's got to make some new units to make sure that he doesn't take major amounts of damage from the Italian. So 20 more lings are in production. He's working on about 50 drones right now. Uh, getting his lair, getting his baneling nest, and uh, going up to double Evo chamber. Vibe's played Muta against uh, Terran in the mm. past, and I'm kind of curious if we're going to see that here today. Sorry, man. I'm like almost going <laughs> blind. I can't see anyway. It's been such a long broadcast, and my eyes are terrible right now. But I'm hanging in there. Uh, yeah, I think you might be right regarding the Muta. Micro hatch going down in the main base as well. I think the most important thing, though, Ben, is that Vibe has been on three bases so incredibly quick, and he never suffered any worker losses. Uh, the opposite is true, even. He's been the one killing workers so far. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, he's, uh, he's done a nice job here. As his queens will stave away these initial Hellions. Teja going to go ahead and land this third command center only 9 minutes, 50 seconds into this game. But still 16 drones in production right now for Vive. It's going to skyrocket this economy once more. 62 against 49. Of course, with triple orbital, you could say that balances out pretty much. But um, it's, it's not exactly the same. Mules are never exactly the same as workers, man. I mean, still poking around, trying to delay or deny the creep spread of Vibe, and that's a little bit annoying, but his queen's doing a good job. He's also got lings out that will continue chasing these Hellions around. Oh, those Hellions are going to get surrounded, and uh, that is a great catch once more for Vibe, who's gotten himself into a fantastic position once more here against Tasia. Uh, Tasia has no real units of substance on the map. He does have 1-1, one, one, but no stim, no combat shield. Well, stim just finished up. Uh, still no combat shields, though. And uh, these links could potentially run in and harass this third base. They're not doing it just yet. Still so far so good, Ben. 71 drones for Vibe right now against 57 SCVs. As you said, he has a couple of links positioned outside of this uh, orbital and the 6 o'clock position of this map. There's no wall of yet. Bane Link's starting to wiggle in. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And oh, the Marines. Marines. Uh, surely oh. Teja's going to split. Actually, doesn't even need to split. He's just going to kill everything. Nice whole position on the links, though. But wow, Teja doing a really good job as well. Keep right-clicking. Doesn't really lose a lot of workers there. And I guess that wasn't too effective for Vibe. Sorry that I was slightly out of there, man. I was getting some eye drips. But now I'm all good to go again. I'm all yours, man. Welcome back, Kev. Vibe uh, just uh, working on that creep spread once more. Isn't controlling that Zelnaga Tower, but is taking a fourth base. Uh, and also threw down that Spire like we speculated. So it is going to be some kind of muta play out and of Vibe. Two, two upgrades on the way as well, Ben. And considering the fact the Baning Nest is already down, wouldn't be surprised to see Baning Speed being reached real soon. I'm a little bit worried about... Um, Teja's going to have to pick oh, up. Oh, Teja, too. yeah, he does just pick up. I'm a little bit worried about Vibe's choice to play Muta here, man. Teja's got a great economy. He's got 70 SCVs. He's got all the production he needs, yeah, and he's he going to have 2-2 two, two bio. He has five Rexes with reactors, man. Or four, sorry. I'm exaggerating. Four Rex reactor, one tech lab. That's enough to make nine Marines at a time, and uh, that's more than enough, I feel, to deal with... Uh, a few mutas. Yeah, and this is just it's for only going to be a few, man. The Vibe doesn't have that many resources to crank into mutas. More Rex is going down, and he's upgrading of double engineering bay as well. well actually, the upgrades of Teja are going to be quicker than the ones of Vibe. Uh, Baning speed is ready already, by the way. I kind of missed that. I guess that's the moment where I did not have my eyes on the screen. So Vibe's going to try to make something happen, man. But there are siege tanks, and there is siege mode. There are only two, though, and they're not siege currently. Vibe, if he wants to do something with this, he's going to have to do it immediately, no? Well, yeah, I, I see shop right now. I think it's already too late. I don't really think, yeah, I don't think there's much that he can do. I think Teja's in a fantastic spot right now. Vibe is beginning to transition. Uh, he's going to try and poke Rolling. over at this left side. He could bust through this wall with the Banelings. Well, with a couple of links. He's going to try to do that, but I think he won't be able to get a whole lot of done. And Vibe notices it as well, and he's going to save his Banelings, which I definitely think was the right decision here. I know he made mutas, but where are they? They're just kind of chilling back at home. Over here at the rally point. Not doing anything. His creep spread's pretty good. It's going to allow him to be very reactive to anything Tasia does. But Tasia's being so passive. He's just sitting back, macroing up. Six more mutas going to the production tab. Two two upgrades are almost done for five days. I'm really curious to see if he's going to try to make something happen then. But considering the fact he's getting eight spine crawlers right now, 
that gives me well mostly defensive ones not really in the middle of the map but still kind of gives me the feeling that vibe is preparing for a later stage in this game and it's not going to try to make something happen with just a few uh, just a few banings and links look at this drop all the way on the left side of the map and for some reason vibe is going to spot it <laughs> Why is this Overlord here? This is probably <laughs> the first Overlord that Vibe's like seen. Like, uh, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen. Vibe's is going to try to put up a really nice flank. Or he's just going to try to counter ban over here at the 6 o'clock position uh, from Teja. Oh, and the door's down. A couple of Lings will get through. Banelings are cool. also going to roll right through the... Uh, well, the actually, depots. they do manage to connect with quite a few SCVs, man. Wow. Five killed more as he's that I thought he would. Effective. A grand total of 19 workers killed at the same time. We got a lot of Ling Bane rolling out in the middle of the map, and Tasia is a little too spread out. There's uh, there's not enough Marines. The siege tanks in an awkward position, and Vibe will catch a lot of Tasia's army completely exposed. Goes up 30 supply, and he's going to keep on rolling, Kev. Still so many links around for Vibe as well. Still a few Banelings in the mix. One Baneling does not connect. Be careful with those Mulelings, Vibe. I think Teja will stabilize Ben. Oh, he's not splitting! Oh my Lost goodness. Lost a lot of Marines there. Oh my damn, is Vibe making an incredibly effective attack against Teja here on World and once more into the Bay third base. Links. Once more, he's going to be able to take out quite a few SCVs and look at the mini-map, Ben. It's just a never-ending river of green. Link streaming across the map. Vibe might actually be able to take out Teja here in game number one. Yeah, this could be irrecoverable amounts of damage. Teja forced to... Uh, oh, he's going to try to come out and save this base. I don't think that's a good oh, idea. Oh, this orbital will fall unless these Mudas do not decide to fight it anymore. Yes, it will fall. Teja took massive losses and here, man. And Vibe's just going to continue to pour on the pressure. Zerglings will try and catch oh, a lot of Marines. Nice play by Teja picking up and repositioning. I think we're just going to see a big, huge bust, though. I think we're going to see the same thing. Link streaming in one by one. There is a bunker. Marines trying to make that final hold, but Vibe just has so much. I guess Teja will stabilize for now with a few Marines. And he has a few Marines over here on the north side, but Link's already took care of that. Vibe is playing some fantastic uh, ZVT. He's fa playing fantastic ZVZ, but that was an overextension. He lost a lot of mutas. Yeah, but he's 40 workers ahead, man. Can't he overextend? Give it to him, man. I mean, L one time. I suppose. One time. I mean, he's no. definitely in a position where it doesn't kill him to do that. Just say one time. Uh, the fact that he just insisted on forcing uh, those uh, those zerglings through that small gap instead of just backing off, making some banelings, uh, I think he could have ended the game there. Uh, instead, I think he gives Tasia a chance. Now, I'm not going to say that Tasia is in a good position. He's certainly not. Unit's lost resource tap is still so incredibly even, but. The opposite is true, of course, regarding the state of the game. Even though Teja is going to be mining from three bases again soon, Greatest Pyre is on the way, Ben. Teja, take a look at his main. Is well, co almost completely mined now. Take a look at the natural. It's running very, very thin. It's going to be a one base Terran. How do one base Terrans deal with Broodlords, Ben? Ooh. Man with gun? Man with gun is the only answer he's going to be able to muster, and it's going to be a very difficult answer indeed. Uh, the fact that the Broodlords are coming is definitely... A, it's a timer on Tasia. He's got to come up with something, some kind of answer to Vibe, and he does not have much time. Greater Spire is done in 15 seconds. That means Broodlord's less than a minute away. What a fantastic night we had so far at the NASL, Ben. This is an exciting game. We had so many other exciting games before this. If you've just been joining us, or I might want to have to hold that thought for just one second, as Vibe, Ben, he's moving forward with a lot of links. Tasia, yeah, Tasia does have a planetary here. He does have a couple of siege tanks, but uh, yeah, Vibe should make Broodlords. It's exactly well, what he's going to do. Actually, completely even. Sick uh. Broodlords are morphing right now. If you're just joining us, we had a sick night. Uh, Oz took out Xenio in well, average games. Then we had Torsten versus Ryan with the sickest game ever on Daybreak. And we made a bet, and I lost a bet on one second. Well, that video clip will probably be uploaded to YouTube, and you guys can all laugh at me. Other games we saw tonight, guys. Bishu Thorazang, Ryung Hwangson, and MC Sheth. It's been a very full night here at the North American Star League. Big shout-out to Ken Silva, our new uh, league commissioner, who's been doing a great job of making sure all those games get played. If we are supposed to have four games. Ken shows up. we got six games. Ken, how do you do it? Breaking the laws of the internet. Yeah. First Broodlord start raining down on Tasia, and he's like, oh, oh damn. Oh, nice fungal, man. What a nice fungal from the low ground. I don't even have any Vikings, says Tasia, as uh, he's probably going to have to give up this expansion. I don't think that's what he says. So he's going to say, like, Gangnam style, Opa Viking. <laughs> wow. <laughs>
I think that might be racist. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just don't know. Brood Lord is going to continue. I just don't know that much Korean, man. Great fungals, Y5. Oh, thanks. I actually caught off guard on the bottom side of this ramp. More great fungals going down by Vibe. <laughs> and the uh, Banelings coming forward. Nice uh, fungals being cast as well. Teja doing a pretty good job of making something of this defense, but Vibe is just going to stay maxed and lean on his opponent. I like it. Never happened. Still has a link over the fourth base on Teja as well, which is, of course, incredibly important. He knows Teja's not going up to fourth base. And look at these Corruptors, man. They're just flying in, dealing a lot of damage on these Vikings, on these Medivacs, even though Man with Gun is having a good final stand. Yeah, 3-3 three, three Man with Gun is a formidable opponent indeed. <laughs> look at these two Marauders. Man in space suit with Gun <laughs> is a bigger opponent, but it doesn't matter. Five takes game number one and will win. This is the Knight G of the Upset. Knight of the Foreigner, man. Uh, uh, Sheth has already taken out MC. I guess uh, Thorazane Ryung was not. No, it was not really an upset, but still. I think Bishu Thorazane was quite the upset. Yeah, fantastic games from Bishu. Uh, we do have uh, game number two ready to go, though. It's going to be played, I think, on... on Ohana underscore Ohana. bitter. Ohana underscore bitter. Family underscore bitter. Oh. Uh, before we do that, though, we got to say a huge shout out to go to my PC, nacl.tv slash p slash go to my PC, remote access to your PC from anywhere on the planet. And we always thank all our sponsors, Ben, but I think we should all thank all those people at home as well who've been watching us right now for almost six hours. I can imagine that they are almost just as tired as us. I wonder Somewhere, if there are somebody's been watching for yeah. the past eight hours. There are people out there who really love the NACL. They Sancho love Panda track. has been. Yeah. <laughs> Sancho Pena is like, this is the night of my life. I, like, <laughs> I don't know, Sancho. It's been pretty long. <laughs> He's no, sitting there really in his Fro 90 X shirt playing the Crocky game, yeah. having a couple of cocktails and enjoying the North American Star League. Set in the night life, man. Guys, we're going to take a short break. Game number two, Tasia. Game number two, Vibe. Game number two, Ohana. On the score beta. When we get back.